David, 1961. My guy's looking at the bail here. Shoulder at 218 and a half. Oh yeah, where are we going, baby? Where David, 1961, same with my vehicle. There we go, hold on in. No se muevan. Hey, you wanna, well, hey, I wanna hold the car? Hold the car, hold the car. We had two vehicles running tandem. One of the detectives pulled over one vehicle. He got no pursuit. They drove in the desert and bailed off. At the same time, we pulled over a vehicle. They started to slow down. It took them a little while. Then they started to slow down, tore off into the desert, through the fence, into all the cactus. We got them stopped, the two, the driver and the passenger bailed out. That's who we're looking for now. We got the air unit coming out, so uh, we'll see if we can't find these guys. We are up off the highway US 60. Um, comes out of Superior. They've been backdooring and going into Phoenix, which if you look off in the horizon, those are the suburbs of Phoenix out there. So they are going an untraditional route to try to traffic people into this country. And uh, we weren't sitting there for 10 minutes before these two load vehicles came along. Great work by our detectives. So they're taking the 60 because we were hammering them on the I-10. We were catching one load after another. Now we're seeing that they're pushing up around the 60 to try to avoid us. And now we're getting up here, almost a pursuit a day right now. Tim said, both. Don't let me in. Hey, Guatemala. This is actually a small pack, which means they probably weren't gonna travel very far. They'll have all sorts of uh, hydration packets, um, anything they can to keep their fluids up. And then if you look in here, I don't know what these are, but they look like power, like little yeah, energy like shots. Power energy shots, knockoff brand. Vapor rub. They removed the uh, back seat. Reason why they do that is so they can fit more people inside the cab, and then they can keep them lower and outside the view of the window. So if you see with this door shut, without that seat being there, where a normal person would be able to be visible through the uh, glass window here from the outside. If we drove up next to this vehicle and just looked through the windows, we wouldn't see any persons in the in the back seat of this cab. What the sort is coming up? So they walked all night. Sergeant Campbell is our sergeant over our search and rescue. So these guys are trained to kind of treat um, they're EMTs basically. Said they were sleeping when they went off the road, so they didn't know until it was already full on pursuit. She's she started feeling the vehicle bouncing around, which is when they realized what was going on. She said her family took care of it. She said she paid 13 grand and it was on credit. And he said he paid five grand in cash. I asked her, was she supposed to pay it off by working it off? Or was she supposed to pay it off through one being in the sex one trade? On um, told her the cartel lies. So whatever the cartel, there probably wasn't true. But we might have probably saved her at least from getting into the some type of uh, ex uh, extortion. King 15, looks like I'm gonna have a bailout. I'm gonna have one male subject running northbound into the field. No se muevan! No se muevan! No se muevan! No se muevan! No vayan a mover! Manos arriba! Manos arriba! Go ahead. King 15, looks like I'm gonna have a UDA load if you wanna start BP my way, please. Looks uh, DPS out here with me. Were you following this car? It comes back to a Ford Ranger. Yeah, what's up, bro? Yeah, one took off, dude, this way. So, whatever. I didn't see no, I was looking that way. Yeah, no, he he bailed. <laughs> Everyone else stayed. The driver? No, it was a passenger. <laughs> Everyone else stayed. It's very common. It happens so much that it's kind of normal, unfortunately. The thing is, is you don't know what's gonna happen. People who don't wanna be caught, 
could do anything. They could fight you, they can take off running. You don't know if they're armed, but we're gonna have Border Patrol come by as well. It's 50-50. Um, Border Patrol either is awesome and they come out very quickly, but unfortunately lately they've been sending their guys out from further south or, or from the checkpoints, which could be sometimes over an hour ETA, which we can't hold um, these people for that long. So if that's the case, what happens then is we end up just releasing. It's not their fault. Sometimes they're they're very limited on, on who they have and, and how much staffing they have, which, you know, it makes it stressful for us because we're out here working criminal interdiction. We run across this all the time and we sometimes won't get a response from Border Patrol, which then it makes us feel like it just doesn't feel right letting these uh, vehicles leave. How old are you? 15. The driver was 15 years old, which we've, we've been noticing a trend um, that they're using these younger or juveniles um, because whether they believe like they can't be processed or, or charged, I guess I should say, with, uh, with, with human smuggling or not, but it's just, it's just becoming more of a common thing that we're seeing these younger drivers out here. So I started searching the, the desert area to the north and I seen a male subject match, matching that description, running through the desert looking back at me. So I tried to catch up to him uh, with, with my pickup truck and we tried to hide behind bushes and run around zigzag. And so I, I got out, still wanted to run. I told him to, to stop in Spanish. Um, he just kept running, so I, had, I uh, threw him on the ground and uh, put him in handcuffs. So in the end, Border Patrol showed up. Yeah, think, man. I don't want you getting upset, but just just think about what you're doing. You said you have a kid already, right? And you're married? How do you think your kid and your wife's gonna feel when they find out you were doing this stupid stuff for a little bit of cash, and then now you're not gonna come back? I don't have to say this to you, I'm not your dad. But someone has to. So what I have to do is just hop on out if you want to come over to my car. Two in the back are hiding, uh, wearing all camouflage, which I know it's not hunting season in Arizona. And this is the common attire for walking through the desert, coming across the border illegal. We came for a funeral. A uh, funeral? Yeah. How long were you down there for? We're down here for uh, two days. Two days? And how do you know her? Uh, we went to school together. Okay. You said you went down yesterday? Yeah. Who's on the vehicle with you today? Uh, my cousins. How many cousins do you have in there? Uh, two. Two? Who's laying in the back? Uh, the other two. The other two? So, uh, four. So you have four cousins in yeah. there. Why are they wearing camouflage? Are they hunting? No. No? You know what I do for a living? I catch smugglers though. I know. Okay. That includes human smuggling as well. How long were you guys down there for? Uh, two hours. Two hours? Okay. And how do you know her? She's your cousin? Yeah. Okay. And who are these people in the car? Family. What's that? My family. Your family? Yeah. Okay. What do you think your friend told me? Uh, the Not even close. Just be honest with me. I know what's going on here, so do you. All right. I got Border Patrol en route. They're gonna come out and talk with you, talk with your passengers. Seven, okay. 7,000 total for all of them. It's pretty good. I understand you're just giving them a ride from point A to point B, but one of those guys could have killed people in Mexico. The last thing we want is for you to get hurt transporting these people, because you don't know them. I don't know them. Nobody knows them. She's getting paid seven grand to take four of them. Okay. Picked up in three points. It's a good chunk of change. Uh, the going rate right now is about a thousand a head, so they're getting paid a little more than the average cost right now. So it's Tuesday at about three o'clock. I did that stop about 2.15. Uh, middle of the day, normal traffic. Uh, we see this every day going down the interstate. Uh, people are getting paid thousand, two thousand dollars a head to drive down south, either Tucson, Nogales, Douglas, pick these people up out of the desert and drive them to Phoenix. It's non-stop. Um, it doesn't matter time of day, day of the week. Business is good for the cartel. And then you said friends in the back? Yep. What's your friends' names? That one, it's Carlos. 
uh, Maria and Anna. And what? Carlos, Maria and Anna. Okay. What's going on in Phoenix? I just going because I want I go in my car, that one, and he fixed I put a suspension in Phoenix. Oh you're gonna get suspension? Yeah. So what are your friends gonna do with you? That one's it's coming because how this is parents in Phoenix. Oh they have their parents yeah. in Phoenix? Okay. So how long are you guys gonna be in Phoenix for? I think I'm coming back like tomorrow and like around two. Okay, two PM? What's going on up there? Um I'm looking for some car parts and uh yes. Oh really? What kind of car you got? It's a SS. It's a oh really? Nice. Yeah, sweet. Right oh sweet. So you get you're putting a tranny in it? Yeah, I'm putting a tranny in it. Okay. Absolutely. What's your brother gonna do while you're up there? My brother? Because I'm gonna speak English like really good and he know me. Okay. Oh uh, you known them for years? Yeah. Okay. Do you have any bags or anything with you? Like a change of clothes? No. No? Do your friends have any clothes? No. Any bags or anything? I think the girls have the pajamas in the bag. Oh, uh, little pajamas? Yeah. Okay. These three here, don't know them. Well, the tire's clear. Yeah, they're supposed to stay for a night, and they have no luggage, so they're all going to wear the same clothes when they return tomorrow. Usually the normal motoring public will have a change of attire, at least, or the essentials to brush teeth, basic hygiene. Being good friends, they're really not conversing. Yeah. You don't know these people. Yeah, he's working, I think, in landscape. He works in landscape? landscape yeah. Because what it looks like to me is you're smuggling people up to Phoenix. And what were their names again? It's Maria, Anna, and Juan. Maria, Anna, Anna and Juan. Juan. You know their last name? I think it's Martinez. Martinez? It's human smuggling. Somebody's getting paid in that organization to transport these three individuals. This is everyday occurrence, uh, traveling up and down the interstate. Every organization is different. Some will go to a stash house, get cleaned up. They could spend days, weeks down there, uh, get cleaned up and then head north. Um, or they're fresh out of the desert, which this case, talking to Border Patrol, they were here for three days. So they probably went to a stash house, relaxed for a few days, and now they're making their trip further north into Phoenix. And then they'll make it to their final destination after that.